So today I wanted to make one of these quick phone vlogs because I wanted to share with you guys some very interesting information. I was reading a little bit this morning on the latest stat counter numbers. Stat counter tracks what people are using as far as operating systems and web browsers and things like that. You know, what are people actually running on their computers and mobile devices and stuff like that. And in the October stat counter numbers, apparently Windows 11 has 15.4% of the global desktop personal computer market share. That's right. In the entire world, only about 15% of people are actually running Windows 11 on their personal computers. That's mind-blowing because Windows 11 has now been out for a full year and Windows users are not upgrading. They are not moving to Windows 11. And in many cases, I think this is because Windows 11, the fact that they require, you know, the TPM enabled CPUs and secure boot. And some people just don't have the hardware needed to run Windows 11. So they're staying on older versions of Windows, especially Windows 10, which Windows 10 is still by far the most popular desktop operating system on the planet, according to StatCounter. A full 71.29% of personal computers around the world are running Windows 10, right? And Windows 10 is still supported. Microsoft plans on supporting Windows 10, I think, for another three years, I think until 2025. I could be a little off on that, but I know you still have some time of support for Windows 10 because Microsoft recognizes that a lot of people are just never going to move to Windows 11. They're staying on Windows 10. Microsoft, of course, needs to support Windows 10 a little longer. What's really shocking is Windows 7 still is hanging in there. Almost 10% of people that have personal computers are still running Windows 7. 9.6% market share for Windows 7. There's also a 2.5% market share for Windows 8.1. Like, what the hell? <laughs> I don't get these uh, market share numbers. Windows XP even has like a 0.4% number in there. So there's still a lot of people out there, you know, globally, I mean, is 0.4%, but that still rep represents a large number of people still running Windows XP, which reached end of life, what, 15 years ago? That is well. Now, of course, for us, the Linux space, we're concerned about our Linux numbers. So if you talk global desktop OS market share, regardless of versions, Windows has 76% of the desktop market share. Uh, Mac OS 10 has about 16% of the desktop market share, which is kind of shocking to me. I find that number rather high. I, I You wouldn't think that that many people are actually running Mac because of the cost, especially having to buy Mac hardware, but 16% of the desktop market share for Mac OS 10. Linux though, our, our market share is steadily going up. We are now at 2.6%, nearly 3% of the desktop OS market share. Now things get a little uh, strange when you factor in mobile devices. So if you do total operating system market share, regardless of desktop, mobile, whatever, actually Windows is not the most popular operating system. Android is the most popular operating system on the planet with 42.37% of the total operating system market share. Windows is second with 30%. iOS is third with 17.6%. Mac OS 10 is fourth place, 6.24%. And then Linux is all the way down at just 1.04%. Makes sense, especially when you factor in mobile. There's not a lot of mobile operating systems that are a proper like GNU slash Linux system. Although you could say Android is Linux, but it's not GNU slash Linux, right? Android's a different kind of operating system. It does base off of the Linux kernel, though. Ultimately, I just wanted to make this quick video because I was just so shocked that Windows 11 is not popular, right? I, this is such a big opportunity for us in the Linux space, especially because a lot of these people that are Windows users have already stated, I mean, they're stating with these stats, right, that they're never going to move to Windows 11. Eventually, they're going to have to move from Windows 10 or some of them, for even from Windows 7 to something else. And I think this is where we can gain some market share in the Linux space because right now, Windows 11, I mean, this is a sad market share number, 15%. Think about that number, 15%. If we're talking diseases, about 15% of the total world population 
has cardiovascular disease of some kind. <laughs> We're talking about diabetes. About 15% of the population, you know, probably has uh, diabetes or pre-diabetic in some way. And, you know, that's about where Windows 11 is, right? Windows 11 is about as popular as cardiovascular disease. <laughs> of course, I need to be careful with that because if we're going to equate operating system popularity and disease stats, <laughs> you know, Linux being at 2.6%, uh, that's pretty bad because, honestly, about 5% of the people in the entire world have a mental disorder or a substance abuse disorder. So... Think about that. 5% of the world's population has some kind of mental disorder. Only 2.6% of the population is using Linux. Of course, there's some overlap with those two categories. Peace, guys.